Hey guys, this is going to be a real quick Houdini video. I got an email from a guy wanting to know, okay, what if I make a project in Houdini and I want to export it into Shake? Well, I use Shake as a compositor, so I'm going to show you how I export it out for Shake. I always use the uh, Open EXR that was uh, developed by ILM because it's pretty much a standard. So what you want to do is, like before, you go up to Render, and you create a Render node, and you add a Monter node, okay? Then after you edit your after you add your mantra node, go back up to render, go into edit render node and select your mantra one node. This will throw up a box, and it will say uh, it'll look like this. It'll be render any frame. It'll have the name of the node up top. So what you want to do is if you got a sequence, you want to uh, render. You select this drop down box here, valid frame range, and select render frame range. And then we'll have our start end right here. Put your start frame you want to start rendering at and your end frame you want to start rendering at. Then hit render. And when you do this, it'll bring up this little box, this little render box right here, and it'll have a little progress bar saying render. This took quite a few minutes. This is just a little, um, let me show you, this is just a little uh, <laughs> rotating cheese um, that I made over here real quick just to demonstrate this. Just a piece of cheese rotating around. And when I went to render it, with, using the steps I showed you, this is what we come out with. We come out with our render. Now, I didn't add any materials or anything because I just wanted to make it a quick render. You know, you'll want to render out an ambient occlusion pass, and you'll want to render out all that stuff. But this is just basically how to export an image sequence to bring it into a compositor. So now we have this rendered. What do we do? Go up. To, now, you'll notice you're inside your image viewer. Go to File and say Save Sequence As. Now, this will bring up this little funny box. and It'll have a file name. It'll be untitled dollar sign F dot, you know, whatever. So what you want to do is right here I, I changed mine to YouTube cheese the title from untitled to YouTube cheese I put a dot put a dot and then I left the rest alone so title it and put a period then you have your dollar sign your F and then whatever else is in there so now you need to choose your file extension so that's the box below it so you click this and you can pick one of these Houdini, TIFF file, SGI, JPEG, Cineon, Alias uh, soft image, Targa, Vertigo, Radiance, OpenEXR, Macintosh, Pick, QuickTime Image. I use OpenEXR. Okay, and click Save. Boom. And when it clicks Save, it'll take it a few minutes. Okay, so don't freak out if it just looks like it's froze up. And then eventually, this little box will come up. It says successfully written so many images. You know, if you have a hundred frame sequence, it'll say successfully written. You know, one hundred images. Okay. Then what you do is you can go up to your spotlight and type in the name of your file it'll find it for you and um, I put mine it saved it as an EXR I put mine in the folder on the desktop here so um, let me open up this folder here as you can see an EXR is an image sequence so now that I have that saved out let's open shake up Now that we got Shake open, let's go to our Image tab, File in, uh, navigate to where your file that you saved is, and select it, and hit OK, and boom, there it brings it in. Let's scale it up, and as you can see, there is our animation right inside Shake. I already had this one imported and scaled up so you can see, but there we go. That's how you export things out for Shake. Not a problem. It's really not. Um, I hope you learned something, guys. See you next time.